Maasim, Acts 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the called out assembly. And he killed Eth Yaakov, the brother of Yahuchanan, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Yahudim, he proceeded further to take Kepha also. Then were the days of Matzah. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quartern, rather, quarternians of soldiers to keep him, intending after Pichach to bring him forth to the people. Kepha, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the called-out assembly unto Yahua for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Kepha was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door guarded at the prison. And behold, the angel of Yahua came upon him, and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Kepha on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird yourself, and bind on your sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast your garment about you, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and knew not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leads unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Kepha was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that Yahuwah has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Yahudim. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Miriam, the mother of Yahuchanan, whose surname was Marcus, where many were gathered together praying. And as Kepha knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken, named Rodai. And when she saw Kepha's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Kepha stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Eth, you are mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Kepha continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand, to hold the peace, declared unto them how Yahua had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go show these things unto Yaakov and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers what was become of Kepha. And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers, and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Yaud to Kekarea, and there abode. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Sor and Sidan, but they came to him with one accord, and having made Blastus, the king's chamberlain, their friend, desired peace, because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of an Elohim and not of a man. And immediately the angel of Yahuwah smote him, because he gave not Yah the glory. And he was eaten of worms and gave up his ruach. But the word of Yahuwah grew and multiplied, and bar and Pa'al returned from Yarushalayim when they had fulfilled their ministry 
and took with them Yahuchanan, whose surname was Marcus.